the computer. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Hi, everyone. My name is Ashley Monique. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ashley Monique. I'm owner of Ashley Show Me Tummy, um, creator of this weird ass podcast. You know, talk about one day we can talk. Well, I, we didn't even touched on politics, which we're not. I don't even want to do that because I don't know nothing about that. But we talk about pretty much everything that's going on. It's kind of based around my personal life, the the stuff that I have going on, the weird things that I have going on. And then, of course, uh, some culture pop news stuff or whatever. Uh, uh, make sure you go like the Ashley's Yummy Tummy Catering page. I will be going on tour in June of 2021. Also, go like the I've Noticed Facebook page. You can follow me on Instagram if you choose to, eight, Ashley Monique 843. But most definitely go subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, Ashley's Yummy Tummy. A-S-H-L-E-Y-S-Y-U-M-M-Y-T-U-M-M-Y, right? All right, so uh, that's pretty much what I, my, where you can follow me at, stalk me at. Um, you guys introduce you, yourselves and where can they follow you at for the new people that will be listening, watching? I'm Courtney. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at fullcourt, F-U-L-L-C-O-R-T. Uh, that's it. All right. I'm not tagging this, by the way, but you don't got to do anything. Yeah, now it's only tag me. <laughs> look at, look at. <laughs> yes, you are. It's going to cut off. It's going to cut off. It's going to cut off. Because <laughs> you ain't got to do nothing, but I'm sorry. I, uh, yeah, I'm not tagging this one, but it's all right. It's okay. <laughs> it's going to cut off because I, mean, because I tagged both of y'all. Both of y'all names popped up on the box. <laughs> it's okay. Well, Courtney, just share it. Share it. Because I'm scared to go in and tag you because when I went in and tagged him, it shut off. Right. Exactly. That's why I said you ain't got to worry about it. All right. Daniel, um, say where you, uh, where they can follow you at and what you got going on tonight for those who are watching live and ain't got shit to do. My name is Daniel. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at I underscore am underscore rhythm. That's R-H-Y-T-H-Y-M. Um, I, every Sunday, or well, first three Sundays of every month, I host an open mic at Absalom Hookah Lounge. If you don't know the address, it's on uh, West 7th Street, but you can look it up on Google. It's Absalom Hookah Lounge in Florence. Um, so, yeah. Well, all righty. All right, let's get this party started. Okay, so today is Sunday, Easter Sunday. I um I want to do a little Easter something, you know, but it's so last minute. I just really woke up <laughs> from a nap. You know, I'm getting older. I need my rest, you know, but how has everyone week been? Like anything exciting happened or um, something, you know, weird happened? How was everybody week, weekend? How was it? Uh, mine's been pretty much kind of boring. Uh, that's the exciting. <laughs> um, I I got good news today. I mean, not necessarily about me, but you know, good news. Good news. Okay. But yeah. All right. Uh, and speaking of that, Courtney. Okay, everybody, we try to do like a little game, a little background check game. You know, it's kind of a wordplay on, you know, when you go to a job, they, oh, oh, you have to do a drug test background check. So the background check for here is Courtney always try to have a different screen, a background screen. So can somebody, uh, we're still working on the prize or will you, whoever get it first, you know, but can you guess what show is Courtney's background? What TV show? It should what be sitcom? You gotta That's hold your head up, Courtney. Oh, <laughs> it's a good thing you got. It's a good thing you got the knot up there. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it keep disappearing if I move a little bit. <laughs> That's perfect where you're at now. Uh, Daniel, how was your week? What you What you um, had going on? Anything interesting happen or something you was just like? Um. Well, we appreciate that, Damon. Damon said I'm watching y'all over the Isley Brothers versus the elements tonight <laughs> if, if that's the case like i shouldn't even be up here because i like i like the isley brothers like you, but you like, might as well go ahead and share it <laughs> just pull it up and share it 
Um, my weekend was boring. Ah. Um, I have not done nothing. Um, uh, yeah. So, I mean, it, it was a good boring though. I just need to keep my my tail still. Okay. Well, mine wasn't. Uh, I'm doing these little road trip adventures of within South Carolina. You know, our local something that you can go in and come back or whatever. But um, I just discovered um black food truck fridays in charlotte um north carolina (laughs) in charlotte north carolina and it is amazing y'all like um it's it's a lot of like black people like me like black uh food truck people and uh the friday that i went which uh it was r&b night so they play like you couldn't even like get your food without being like, okay, you know, like you're trying to order your food and they playing like different like R&B songs and stuff, but it was good. I like it. Um, it was in Charlotte. Um, I suggest following their page, um, Black Food Truck Fridays, um, Charlotte. Um, it was amazing. I like it. I look forward to going to it throughout the summer, um, just on my own and also as part of my business. I plan on going out there with my food truck, but um, yeah, it was good. Uh, looks good too, huh? Yeah, looks good too. I didn't even get to do it. Listen, my normal person that I travel with, which is my little cousin, like you know how younger people like they all into like the cameras and stuff. So he has like the iPhone 12 and everything. So his camera is like way better than mine. So the person that I went with was a horrible photographer, and I was it was pissing me off. Like Courtney, remember how you used to be like, no, That's the blue ring is like this. Like your brother, no, I mean like not like real photography, but just like you know, oh, just good period, pictures. just gonna yeah, like just pictures. good pictures with your phone. And I'm just like, he was like pissing me off. Like I was like, bro, you gotta do better. Than this. Like you know, but um, <laughs> I wanted to do more pictures and stuff, and then I also had bought like a little handheld um thing. I'm always buying some technical shit that I don't know how to use yet, <laughs> but at least I invest in it. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna figure Thanks. it out. But uh. What it is, I just didn't go on YouTube early enough to figure out how to do the damn thing. But yeah, it was it was fun. I'm ready for um R and B, like not R and B, but hip hop night. Like I'm ready for that. I'm gonna so go out there for that. But yeah, that's um that's one of my things that I did. Like I look forward to. I had a, a good time. Um, it was some great um restaurants out there, food trucks, black food trucks. It was this one that played off. I don't know if they like do music, but their truck was um. And Daniel, you might appreciate this because you do music, but it was like the truck was called like made from made from scratch, and on, their logo was like a turntable. Oh, it dope. Made, yeah, I was like, that yeah. Was cool. yeah, that's cool. Hey, mm-hmm. you know what? I just realized Damon said the Isley, Bur- Isley Brothers versus the Element, like Earth, Wind, and Fire. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the Elements. <laughs> Just saying. Hi, Shonda. All right. Okay. So, all right. Let's get into the topics for tonight. Okay. So, the first topic is snitching. The reason why I came up with the snitching is because um, my little cousins, like, <laughs> something happened. One of them went to go tell, and then the other one was like, You snitching. And I'm like, But isn't that like how our parents raised us to like tell what's going on? You know, the only time the snitching in the household, the only time the snitching comes in play is like, you know, when the other person don't want to get in trouble. But when you take it to the streets, that's a whole different element, you know. And then, of course, I've been watching First 48 laid up in the hotel and stuff. So First 48, <laughs> First 48, you be like, all right, I'm just going to watch this episode. The next thing, and then I'm going out to the hot tub. And the next thing you know, you be like, you three episodes. Seven and like, episodes later. Like, yeah, hey, you be good. like, damn, and then the clothes are ready. I just go to the hot tub tomorrow, you know. But <laughs> Let me yeah, watch snitching. another episode since I'm stuck in the house. Right. So, <laughs> how do y'all feel about snitching? Like the what? What is it? What's your definition of snitching? Your personal definition? Like, I mean, snitching is like ain't nobody guess on my background, so I'm trying not to move too much. But um, snitching is like you know, it's telling stuff that shouldn't be told. I guess. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's something like God. Damn it. They, they, like snitching is basically just you know you tell him you tell him okay but um I don't think I was raised to like not snitch I don't think anyone I don't think I've heard anyone like like an adult 
get mad like because their child kept you know telling on someone to like till I like went to South Carolina for like the summers and stuff like that's when <laughs> that's when you that's, heard it yeah that's what the I funny heard. thing is well it was I mean when I lived in Connecticut and when I lived in South uh, moved to South Carolina in the school system snitching is like darn near glorified like if you have a if you're getting bullied or if you have a problem you come tell them tell me about them I think uh-huh. that's different. That's why we need to talk about this because that's different though. Because when some bullying going on, like that shit doesn't turn suicidal. That make people. Make well, no, people- definitely, definitely. I'm not saying right. that it's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's. I feel like it was glorified almost, like you know what I'm saying. But it's still, you know, I guess to 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 some people, to some people, it's still snitching instead of handling it yourself. To some people, you get what okay, I'm saying. Cause- Kashana said family versus the streets. Can you go more in depth about that in the comment section? What do you mean by family versus the streets? I kind of think you know, but I wanna I don't wanna assume anything. So let me because like I of course when it comes to family to me, uh if something happens, you know, like oh somebody touched you or somebody uh doing something inappropriate or you know, like come and tell, you know. But when it's amongst the siblings. And you go be like, oh, um, Courtney didn't brush her teeth and she's already in the bed. You be like, you tattletale, like you, you know, stuff like that, like, you know. Maybe to me, maybe it's stuff. more so like just um for to me, the definition of snitching is really like like Courtney said, something you don't even really need to, like it like you might the person might not even get in trouble and you still tattletale them. Like you still, you so still. So is there a different? Is there like a tattletale? Because like the what what y'all two are saying to me, like you don't need to say it, but you just say it anyway. I think that's more tattletale. I think this the snitching thing probably might be more street. Like you did do some illegal stuff, and then somebody go tell, and but all y'all was involved. Now you like, oh, not everybody in trouble just because you, you got talking, caught. We talking then, about the streets, man. Mm-hmm. They're just talking about like, okay, I'll give you a scenario. Y'all got some pounds in the trunk of whatever kind of drug. Y'all got some pounds. Y'all get pulled over. Uh, pound tape. That's why I just. That's why I said some pounds in the tr- in the trunk. You know maybe, what I'm saying? Maybe snitching is like when you tell an authority figure whether that's like to keep yourself out of trouble. To not even that. Like maybe snitching is telling an authority figure something that. Miss. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just like it's like telling an authority figure something that didn't need to be told. Maybe like for your own benefit or or whatever. You got but caught up. You got caught up. Yeah, and then, that's, what I, that's what I said to keep yourself out of trouble. But you, but then, but but you putting other people in it though. Like but, just make up a whole lie or, or just be like, listen, I didn't have that many pound cakes in there. Let, or, let's or, just say that's the reason why. That's the reason why people that should be away for a very very long time come home are, early. Come home early because they become right. informants. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's where you yeah. get the whole mole, the rat, snitch. That's all the same definition. And uh, op, you know what the what the young kids call it. You know what I'm saying? Like she, yes, definitely. Like like uh, Kashana said, there's a code in the street. You just don't snitch. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, it's, just, it's like repetitive though, Kashana. Like it's it's repetitive. Like you know, if I was to do something, I would do it by myself. Like. You know people gonna tell like who's solid. Like let's say all three of us, right? Like we in a clique. We in the I've noticed podcast clique. And so we go in the <laughs> we go in the Walmart and you know we still in like audio equipment or something, you know, the upgraded podcast. And so I get caught, but y'all two got away at the self checkout line, but I get caught. Like I'm not just gonna be like, oh, okay, well, Courtney and Daniel was in it too. No, like first off, y'all, y'all, y'all just put money on my books and just keep on with the podcast. That's, you know? what, that's what it is. Like, but before free my homie, the, you know what I'm saying? Before the podcast free. start, free right. my homie and Ashley, <laughs> jump right into right. it. Oh, I bet. <laughs> and then I want some t shirts, you know, not with the angel wings, you know, but just free, free my home girl. Free you my know? homie, bro. I free hate those shirts. I, I hate them you. free because you I know would. that they did something wrong. Why are you talking about some free? Like, that I- shit pisses me off. That <laughs> pisses me off so bad. That's why, like, you know, I don't want to go too in depth about what recently happened with the lady that, you know, got found in Marion County and stuff. But it, I was, I had to say, so I was like, 
y'all bet not. I mean, of course y'all can do whatever y'all want to do, but I'm like, y'all bet not say hashtag free that boy because you know he. Oh, with the old, with that the yes, old lady. Oh, yes. yeah, okay, you okay, know, okay, but yeah. I can't say you know he did it because everybody is innocent into proven guilty in the eyes of the law. You know, so I'm gonna say that I'm for certain that things. Out. You know, but I'm just like, bro, come on. And then my thing, like, I'm like, if you want, if you're that unhappy with life, like. Kill your own damn self. Like, God, oh God. like, why would you? I, I, I stand on it. I stand on it. Like, why would you take somebody's mother, grandmother? Like, did you oh, yeah, hear? No, did you, did you see the the, uh, the bond here and the live bond here? And they're like, they couldn't even talk without crying. Like, that shit had me. I was just like, yeah, she don't buy, and, I mean, come like, on now. She 80 something years old. Who's she bothering? Come on, dude. Nobody. Probably, <sighs> That's what I'm saying. It was so sad. I agree with that statement completely because if you get to the point where you feel like you gotta buy a gun and shoot something, shoot yourself. Here, you commit take suicide. Just, just why you gonna take somebody that got nothing to do with what's going on in your life? Right. Or no, none of your problems. Like she took her from her whole family. Like it was like Easter coming up. Um, her one of her son's birthday. One of her uh, gr- two grandchildren are grand uh, graduating from high school. I'm like, yeah. That lady cut cut short. Cut short for your financial gain or what type of mental illness you have or got to be some type of mental illness for you to do something like that like and then it got so bad to the fact where I was like it made me start talking crazy what I mean by talking crazy was I was like why he just couldn't rob her what 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 the fuck do I sound like saying why he just couldn't rob her but it was my thing of like if you was gonna still do something like illegal yeah like at least leave her like like just rob her leave her on the side of the road but the way people was describing her within the community and stuff because um Leroy he did a a candlelight visual for her they was just like she was just like a nice sweet person she was a school teacher for over 30 years you know how school teachers are you know like they're like sweet you know yeah it's time it's times like that situations like that where like I really want to know what, what that person was thinking like i just like i'd be wanting to go and just be like let's sit in 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 the, the little visitor's room and just be like yo like what what was going through your head like she's 80 something years i think she was what 87 or something like that she was in her 80s i know that i, like, I think she was 80 yeah like come on but what what was you what what did she possibly do to you to make you want to take her life yeah, nothing like, like I nothing. don't condone nobody taking nobody's life, but like no. I can understand somebody like me taking somebody my age's life over some beef or something like that. Even that's still so, reckless. That's still I mean reckless that's still that, reckless, but you get what I'm saying though. Like it's I, no, I no sin saying. is bigger than the other, but it's still like it, exactly. Yeah. But I get what you're saying, and when you when you mentioned the beef part, uh, people are, are cowards. You know, they're criminals and they're cowards. And what I mean by that is. Like, they don't just walk up to the person that they got beef with or the ops, as they like to say, and then do what they're going to do with them. They like to do the shit from afar. Like, they, like... It's, the way they don't it, get their hands dirty. Yeah, like, from, and then, but when you're doing it from afar, you hitting innocent people. Right. Like, right. I don't understand. Like, you want, you, like, guys always be like, you know what it is, bro. Like, you know, I mean, you know what I'm about. No, the fuck we don't. Like, because you're doing it from afar. Like, just... Do the shit just I, I don't I don't like it. I like that shit that rubbed me the wrong way, like so bad. I was like, oh my god, that is so sad. I you don't want nobody passing period, but like just so close to the holidays and she was old and innocent and just uh but so yeah, so the snitching. So let's get back to the snitching. So yeah. I guess what well, we got two types of snitching. We got I, I guess broken down to tattletale that's within the family, that's some innocent shit. And then you got the snitching, snitching, like, you know, the street stuff where people was in, involved in the crime, somebody got caught. Uh, they don't want to like a canary. Right. They don't want to just do the, they do the crime, but don't want to do the time by themselves. My thing is like, and maybe I'm thinking about it too logical because I'm a numbers person, a financial person. If you tell on everybody, everybody going to jail, who the fuck going to be out to be like, to keep, to put something on your book to it? Like, Somebody got to be out. Like we need to make a pack before we go do this. Like, and, and, and the, most people think, and it's not necessarily like, because I watch a lot of First Forty Eight too. Okay. And what you what you will notice is it really nobody. I don't think people really have the intention to of getting caught. Snitch. No, well, nobody has the intention to get caught. But once you get caught, I don't think anybody has the intention to really snitch until 
they start seeing them charges built up against them in that time that they're facing. And them cops, they'll be in the interrogation room like, you know you're facing 30, right? If you tell me who helped you, that's going to knock you down to 15. So, yeah, everybody's still going to jail. But, like, the way that these informers be thinking is, oh, well, I'm going to get less time for putting half those charges on somebody else. But that's the thing, though. Like, we all, okay, I'm 35. We've all seen cops. Now we got First 48. We got uh, NC. Like, we see people going to interrogation room. We know the tactics of the person. If anything, I'm just like, call my attorney. Where's my attorney? Like, I'm not saying nothing. Like, I want whatever happens. But a lot of times, I'm not defending no snitch because I don't condone condone it. But a lot of times, man, like, that interrogation room, yeah, you think you can say that until you get up in that mug. (laughs) <laughs> and then you I like, mean, man, like I, my freedom I is going. I need, you know, but you he did. Knew that, though. <laughs> but you knew that though, like you knew. Nah, I feel it's you. like like doing a crime is just like a relationship. You gotta communicate. Like I, I know people are gonna be like, actually, I want to do no crime with you. You talk too damn much. Listen, I just we trying to get this. If we get caught, see what what are we gonna do? Us. What's the plan? Like what's the aftermath? If if somebody get caught, are you telling? Like are you? Because and if you tell, like. I, I just I don't know. I think a lot of people be... don't they don't think that far ahead when they they'll put they'll have this mastermind plan together of how they're gonna hit this lick, right? But they don't think about what happens when things go sideways. And that, you know what? I, it pisses <laughs> me off, especially like when it comes because robbery Movies is always stuff. it's always money. And people like what really pisses me the fuck off is like, you know, you just robbed the place. Why are you in the strip club throwing money? Why are you 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 oh, was like on a the dudes that got that armor truck in Darlington you, them years ago? You remember that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. These dummies, they, you gonna go? You gonna successfully rob an armor truck? An armored truck successfully rob it, and then you gonna go with the same marked bills to the same strip club in the area, and then you are no. gonna go to a dealership and pay for a brand new Cadillac Escalade with the same money, cash. I always and the dealership is in the area. <laughs> is I mean. always used to joke with my coworkers. I'm like, we can rob a bank. Like, we can get away with it. We just got to be in Argentina in 17 hours after we do it. Like, I'm so serious. But that's I'm the thing. You got, you got to, when you do something like that deep, which I think will prevent some people, like, let's, let's just say we're all intelligent here. <laughs> the reason why we probably wouldn't do a crime like that <laughs> is because you don't, you got to give up. You got to give up a lot of things that you care about. Like you can't contact your, your mom. You can't, you got to disappear. Yeah. So that's why, and that's what's so crazy. I think you got like, you have more than one, but I'm just going to narrow it down to two types of criminals. Like you got the ones that, that is family orientated. So they got to talk to their mom. They got kids. They got, you know, family, whatever that they want to speak to. And then you got the ones that's just want to floss and, you know, which going back to what Daniel said, like, why would you do that? Like, it makes no sense. You gotta damn near getting away with it. But I watch too many crime shows to to do that in good conscience. Like, I watch too many crime shows. I still I still think whoever wrote um set it off, whoever like whoever wrote that script is genius. Because you know they have foolproof that plan with even though st- like stuff went sideways. That was really a foolproof plan, like really you know, and seriously. You know what I said? I said I know I with Cleo and I, and JP. You know, one of the things I said I want to do is go back and watch black movies because now that I'm an adult, like watching as a teenager, you oh that was good. But like now that I'm like can think for myself, like I want to go back and watch black movies, like because something like that, like I need to go back and watch that, even down to like brothers and um. Matter of fact, I just saw uh, what was it? It's it was about four brothers. That the wood. That's like, such I a need good. To go back and watch like a lot of black oh, movies, like you know. They're so and they're so good and they're so. And when defeated. I say black, I ain't talking about Tyler Perry shit. I'm talking about <laughs> you don't pre count. pre pre Madea, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're muted. I can't go back and watch movies because I didn't got my black card revoked plenty of times because mm-hmm. there's a lot of movies I have not seen. Well, Courtney. Well, you really need to do it then. Like, we need to have, like, a girls weekend so we can just, you know, so I, I won't even talk you through the movie. I won't talk, because I hate people. I hate watching TV with people like that. Like, oh, my God, okay. this is the best part. Watch this right here. Yeah, we was watching um, that, the... Uh, Moesha. 
No, we was doing that when we was watching the about the five guys who got uh convicted of rape, but they didn't do it. H- how they uh, see when us. they when they see us when they see us. Remember, we was watching that and we was talking. I don't remember. But that's that's a that's a conversational piece though like that that particular series is really conversational well i would say like you talk sometimes but it was me and the the demon child that was talking most of the time the demon child oh lord <laughs> i most definitely don't remember that now because i blocked all that shit out but anyway <laughs> not the demon all right. child. <laughs> coming to a theater near you uh he thought chucky was something okay <laughs> but um all right, tell so- me the story i'll write the script now Okay, uh, so Kashanda said it's a mental thing being in that interrogation room. I'm I don't doubt you. that. Like, I, I totally believe that because they have you in there for hours. You know, for uh, it's cold in there. Like, you don't I, eat. You don't. Yeah. Drink, well, you right. know, they offer it to you later on down the road. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Only because they uh, have to. Yeah, and then they be like, yeah. "Want a cigarette? Uh, I don't smoke, sir." You know, <laughs> but um, but yeah. So I, I I'm kind of gonna. So I think we all agree. Like, um, so what's your final thoughts on snitching on um, Courtney? Yeah, so um, I'm, kind of gonna... I'm sorry. Um, like, what do you mean? Like, I still think what snitching is what I think. Like, what do you mean? What my th- final thoughts are? Like, should um, you snitch? Yeah, like, um, do are, are you feeling like you agree with it? Like, hey, okay, y'all know we did the crime, but I don't want to do all this time by myself. Like, fuck that. I I don't agree with it because I feel like if I'm gonna commit a crime, like regardless of like maybe it's not like a bank but you know if i'm going to steal you know whatever if i'm going to commit a crime with other people i feel like i would have that conversation there's no way i'm not going to do something like that without having that conversation i wouldn't be in that position <laughs> the aftermath like that's why i'm like listen i understand when we get the money but after that because like i'm probably gonna i don't want to i don't want to pretend to be a criminal because like my mind go like i'm low-key like a writer my damn self because I literally was gonna be like, because if y'all start spending the fucking money, the more like being flashy and stuff, some other shit going down, you know. If I if I were to be in a position where I stole a whole bunch of money, I'm not staying in the same spot I am. Most no. likely, depending on how much it is, I'm out the country. I'm not. So not what's going gonna, what's gonna happen if you don't make it that far though? What's gonna happen if you get caught? I'm not. <laughs> I truly believe I'm talking I, about for the sake of the question, Court. <laughs> that's the thing. My mind can't even conjure up like if I get caught. If so, I, so, so, if so I, oh, I see that. Okay. So, okay. me and Daniel are safe because you're not going to get caught. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, if, if I was going to do something like that, I know in my heart, like, if I committed to it, I'm not getting caught. I'm going to be, especially like it's a large amount of money. <laughs> I'm going out the country within the next 17 hours. I'm not even kidding you. I'm gonna be out the state in the next five. Like, <laughs> I'm not here. No, so I you agree. I'm the same way. So you, so you telling me you can drop everything? Are, are, are? Oh, this if, is a good. This is good. Like, I can you? If that, you had to take people with you, would you take people with you? Like, if you could choose like two or three people to take. I need people. time first. I need time first. That's what I'm saying. If I committed I to that, first. I'm already thinking of that. I'm literally already thinking of that. And I'm whoever not I will. nobody with me though, because I know nobody is as strong as me when it comes to that cutoff shit. Because my, I know a person will be like, I, I miss my friend. I got a call. And then you don't fucked us up. Now they we in Argentina. Like now they know which beach we on. Now I'm locked up. Now I got to do the uh I'm legally blind. I can't even see. Like now I'm on TV and shit. Like, because you want to make a phone call, a long distance phone call, because you miss somebody. Yeah, nah, but I, that's the that's the thing if i was going to text let's say i stole a whole bunch of amount of money right and the okay. people that i want to take with me the two or three or whatever and they didn't know i was going to do it i would not tell them anything until i was out the country yeah but even still there i would need time i would need time to get stuff straight like do you not come with me right liability. now they're yeah. liability. But I'm isn't, not telling- isn't that even worse though like you didn't tell them that you're about to commit this crime to make sure y'all financially uh straight for forever, then you do the crime successfully. Y'all fly for out. All, for all they know, I could have hit the lottery off a of That's off. what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. So, so you're saying you're not gonna tell them at all. Period. No. Like that's literally that's so, that so literally you're saying like so you're gonna to fly crime. them back to South Carolina, wherever they at, but you're gonna stay where you're at. No. Okay. For for me. Okay. Say I, say I hit a lick on something, right? Okay. Say we say we do just say the armor truck thing, right? Okay. You get that money. First of all, I can't go nowhere right now until I wash that money. That money got to be washed. TV. 
So money laundering. <laughs> it has to, you got to watch that. That's how them, that's how them dudes they got. They trace you, right, yeah, right, right. That's how them dudes got caught in Darlington because they didn't wash the money. You got to wash that money. You make a lot of, you break that. If you got nothing but hundreds, you break them hundreds down one by one, get changed, then you buy things one by, like there's the ways you got to wash that money. And then once I successfully do that, that's when I leave. Nobody's coming with me in the beginning. That's what I say. You can. Yet, yet. You can. You can. But right. as of right now, I need six months, five months, four months. Let me get myself straight, squared away, clear my, and make sure my own name is good. You still not going to know what happened. To my family, yeah, I just want to scratch off. I got so excited, I burned it. You know what I'm saying? Like, just simple things like that. Like, they're going to think, oh, he won the lottery. Congratulations to today over winning the lottery. You know what I'm saying? It's just, yeah. I'm going to be so low-key. Y'all ain't going to know shit going on. Like, my mama, no my mama going to know I got money, though. I don't care if none of my, none of the rest of my family. My I mama going like, to know. I feel like I would only take, realistically, I would probably only take mm-hmm. one person. Okay. Well, max two, maybe. But even then, the only I would probably just go ahead and take them with me because then if anyone questions it, I just look like I'm taking a family trip or I'm taking a trip. Right. It's okay. If I just if I just leave what by myself out the blue. No, I mean you gotta plan it. Like you see your little face status. You'd be like, oh, going out of town, can't wait for vacay. Right. You know, like right. but see, that's job the opportunity <laughs> of <the> study abroad. <laughs> no, you know, look at God lucky. blessing me. I'm always <laughs> like I don't I don't post stuff like that, right? So why would that's gonna be real right, random? Courtney, this is what you no, but that's how they would know it was significant though, but because you don't you ain't really been like they're gonna think, oh Courtney just ain't no, but that's no, this is how Courtney operate. would do hers. Courtney would do hers like this because she doesn't do posts like how me and you dance. Courtney would, would share like an island and she would say, mmm, <laughs> and a smiley face. <laughs> that's <laughs> Courtney's. Right, or, or the one the one mm. picture showing her toes in the sand or something like that. Exactly. Or, or she, she do the emoji that's thinking like, hmm. <laughs> that's Courtney's status. Are they like, yeah, I think she's on vacation. Yeah, she's probably, you know. Right. All right, so um, let's go to the second topic or whatnot. All right, so should a man check a woman about wearing a bonnet in public? All right, the reason why, uh, and Courtney has on a bonnet. Kind of, sorta. This I is bonnet, though. I, but I have feelings about this, so go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so the reason why I came up with this right here is because you know, um, a couple weeks ago we talked about the Derek Jackson situation about him getting caught up. He's a which hashtag full of shit, which I think men are. Um, no offense, Danny. Um, Some men. <laughs> most. Men. Um. Okay, I can deal with most men. Okay. All right. Yeah. So. His wife came on camera and she came with her battle gear, oh. you know, um, with her camouflage, whatever, in oh, her, her hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she got flack for that, um, you know, which I was one of the ones that was saying, I would have never came up there. Like, like, like I kind of, I try to be present more presentable for this YouTube show because I know eventually when it does blow up, people are going to go back and watch it. You know, like, oh my gosh, she's, uh, you know, so I just think she could have done better personally, but she had her own. We can't take our vision for women and put it, place it on her because she, when they did her background, like she's never really dressed up and, you know, did like the hair, the lashes. She never, that was her. So anyway, so the thing is, I was talking to a guy and he was like, oh, I hate seeing women because it's black women. We, I, you know, it's us that do it. But I hate seeing black women out in public with a bonnet. And so he was like, he wouldn't talk to her. Like, even if he was like attracted to her, he would not talk to her. He would not walk up to her and be like, hey, excuse me, miss. Um, what's your name? What's your phone number? He was like, he would he would go up to her and be like, baby, you're beautiful. Why, why would you why would you come out the house looking like that? And I was like, oh, I said, even though you complimented her. And even though you said it in a soft, respectful tone and your that delivery was good, a black woman would wall out on you. And he was like, he was so confused by that. He was like, really? I was like, they would. That's the biggest insult ever, to be honest. Yeah, they would. I said, because mm-hmm. I said, you got, I think you got, and y'all can help me out with this, but I'm thinking you got two types of bonnet wearing women. You got the one that's literally just like, 
oh, I need, they cooking Sunday dinner, Easter dinner, because it's Easter Sunday. And they go, oh my God, I need some flour to fry this chicken. Put it on, run the food line to Walmart real quick and back to the house, you know? But then you got the other kind, which the stereotype, low income, poverty, hood rich, you know, you know, and they just walk around with their bonnet and the pajamas on all day, every day. So, should or can a man, I don't know if we should say check, but can a man check a woman or, or can a man boy. check a woman about a bonnet? Daniel, you go, because you're a man, and then Courtney will let you, you know, what do you think, uh, I think you gotta be my thoughts, but yeah. Absolutely not. I mean, I, I get it. I, I get it. Sometimes you don't want your, your spouse going and looking any kind of way. I also think that it also depends on the circumstance in which we a man never has to correct a woman on how she should look for a different situation anyway. It just doesn't matter like that. Even some of the hood rich try. Like, even some of the hood rats try to go for certain situations, even though it might still look hood. Uh, should a man check a woman? Absolutely not. Because I'm big on double standards. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if that, if my, I feel like if you don't want your woman, if you're a man that wears a do rag proficiently and you're just going to the store in a do rag or you're going somewhere in a do rag, you shouldn't wear, you shouldn't wear a do rag if you're, because a do rag ain't nothing but a male version of a bonnet. A nightcap. You're absolutely yeah. correct. When I had ways, I was spinning at one point in time before I went ball. <laughs> making you know a saying? making these You know balls. what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, wavy, wavy, wavy. You feel me? Um, and if you don't believe that, check my Facebook. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, really? Night. And it was to the point where I literally went to work in my do rag. I literally went to the store in my do rag because I ain't, I ain't, I ain't brought out the the waves unless I was going somewhere. You know oh. what I'm saying? But like I'm not going, you know what I'm saying? That, that was just me. So that's the reason why. And again, everybody knows that watches this podcast consistently. I'm a different man. I'm not going to check my 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 girlfriend or my wife. And like I said, unless we going somewhere. And even still, if we going somewhere and she want to wear the bonnet just not to mess her hair up until we about to walk in, I don't care about that either. I see this this is the thing. So let me go a little, let me deep dive a little bit. So we know that there's a stereotype with black american women wearing the bonnet there's a stereotype about it with hood hood project look bullshit mm-hmm. so you're dating a woman who need to go out and do that so you're saying you're not gonna say hey 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 take take the cap off real quick don't 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 do that like so you're saying you're just gonna let her go out there it just depends if we go, like i said if we go into the store mm-hmm. you know and, I, and if i still have my ways chances are i'm gonna be in the do right okay you know what and, I'm saying? If we're, but if we're going somewhere, like if we're going to say my family's house and you, we're not married and you don't really know them, I know my mom and my grandmama are gonna say something. You right. know what I'm saying? Baby, you know it. Take that off. <laughs> take it and, off. See, and that's the thing you know that the guy was saying. He was saying the guy that I was conversing with. He was saying walking up like Walmart or something. But she's an attractive female. He's just like, baby girl, why don't take that off? But, like, but, you but here's the thing about that. that though: you attracted to her, right? So <laughs> what what is the what is the bonnet killing for you if you're still attracted to her? I me personally, I call me weird, but like I like to see women that aren't like trying. That makes sense. Like all the time. Like all the I, I, the natural beauty is what it is for me. Okay, okay. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm gonna say, because I ain't trying to get crucified. But <laughs> <laughs> Look, because the makeup brushes are come for you like the beehive. Like, well, I'm telling you, I don't know. And now, see what we're not going to do, Daniel. <laughs> Go ahead, Courtney. I'm done trying talking. to say ratchet ass female. <laughs> I, um, but, but guys love the ratchet. They love that ratchet pussy now. You know? the, the thing is, is that you say that, but I feel like. Thank I'm you, Cassandra. I Sorry. feel like I'm one of those. Oh, you couldn't say it. <laughs> The bonnet doesn't make a difference if you're attracted to them. That's what I'm saying. That that's the point that I was making about the dude. Like, oh, she attracted, but I ain't gonna talk to her. Man, like, come on, bro. And it's, I mean, it's females that are the same way though. Like, I I um I had this conversation with a female, and she was talking about like if your shoes are raggedy. This was in high school. If your shoes are raggedy, the second time she sees you, she's not gonna talk to you. Like the first time, she'll give you a pass because you might be at the basketball court, you might be working out. But if you go, say you go somewhere with her and your shoes are raggedy, she's not going to talk to you after that. 
I feel like that's weird. I kind of, but that's as weird as that dude that like don't he not gonna talk to a female and all she got is a bonnet on. She in a grocery store. Well, this is a great topic because Courtney is currently wearing a wrap, right? And even though Courtney is very attractive right, in this wrap, I don't. You hear me, Courtney? Can you hear? Courtney, you good? I hear you. Actually. Is it just me or she froze? No, no she she just she did freeze, but she did the thing didn't freeze. She froze because yeah, you were saying something. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Hear. What you were saying? No, what were you about to say? Because I think you was probably going to say what I was already thinking. Well, well, I was saying uh, this is a good topic because Courtney is currently wearing um, a wrap, right? I've never seen Courtney in a wrap before, but Courtney looks good in a wrap. But Courtney. She's song. not really, she's not really feeling the rap, you know. But I think the rap looks amazing on her. What did I tell you earlier? The rap and the, the big hoop earrings is a style. That is literally and a style. That's like a um, but then that kind of goes back to you know, like a it's a it's a ghetto hood chick, like you know, all you need is like the long nails, the dot, you know, like the gold, you know, like it's it's nostalgic. I think that's what they call it, nostalgic or whatever, but I mean, if you no, go ahead. I was gonna say if you want to go, if you want to go like back to like, cause this, I mean, this is our quote unquote heritage. Who want right. to, you know, African American? Like this is what we would be wearing and stuff like that. But I was saying like it was funny how Daniel was like he don't like girls who like try so hard all the time. Cause I feel like I am one of those females. That try <laughs> hard all the time. I I, I, agree I with that. always feel like. Oh, I agree. My cousin back there agreeing. <laughs> I, no, I, that you, I'm gonna tell you. Try hard. I'm gonna tell you all the time. I I agree with that 100 percent for the simple fact of Ashley. Hold, wait, 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 what her cousin say? What your cousin saying? My eyelashes is not on. She can't go nowhere. Oh, yeah, that's true. She yeah. don't go nowhere. Or she'll get on Facetime and be like this. <laughs> The fuck? Like, bro, let me like what is FaceTime for? Yeah, like, listen, <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> all right. So here's my thing, right? I don't like to be caught like slipping, right? But I don't think a head wrap is but, called slipping, though. That's what I'm saying. This is the thing. This is the thing. I don't I see the head wrap and the bonnet as something real Too like different. Different, right? Yeah. Go, go in depth about that. Tell, so, like it. a head wrap, like this is part of like people's culture. Sometimes, like when you think about like Muslim women and stuff like that, like that's not necessarily like something that they. I just feel like it's more of a cultural thing. Granted, I know a lot of girls don't wear this for a cultural thing. They do it like for me because like I got the Cleo from Set It Off phrase under here. So <laughs> I, I'm putting it on because you know that's me. But you know, like it's more of a cultural thing. Like I feel like naturally you should look at a head wrap like this more of a cultural thing than like a bonnet but yeah, with me I agree with I'm just, my thing is i don't really i don't want to call like wearing a bonnet out in public ratchet or the girls who like put on the bonnet and the pajamas out like ratchet or so that's just not me i don't like like ashley you ain't <laughs> you know i'm not the type to just put on my pajamas and go to the store like i'm gonna get dressed like yeah. I, there have been plenty of times where i don't got dressed and they're like where you going i'm like to Walmart. start to get some <laughs> I'm like all of that, like girl, no, no. Nah, there's there's plenty of people like that though. There's plenty there of people are. like that. There are there are plenty of women yeah. that's like that. Like, I, mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's my own insecurities why I do that. Mad fact, it's probably my own insecurities why I do that. But it I, is. I just I don't. And, but, and, and let me make something slipping. real clear. Like, what do you mean by caught slipping? Like, you don't want to get caught slipping. Like, like she I, don't want I, somebody I that she may shape. like to see her, and 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 she don't look her best. It's basically what she's saying. But here's the thing. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me let me make it clear too. While I while I have the floor, I'm not talking about like somebody that just don't care sometimes, and you go out looking crazy. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because I've been in the store plenty of times, and I'd be like, I don't know why she came out of the house like that. Like I literally said it to myself. I'll be in the store with my mama and be like, my mom, be like, I'll be like, look, what? And she's like, I don't know, Daniel. I just don't know. <laughs> like, I get I, some people be looking crazy. I just don't feel like a bonnet for a store run is not that much of to where like if I see you and I'm single and you fine, I'm not gonna talk to you. 
I'm st- but can you see through? That's another thing. Like, can men see through the bonnet? Like, like not see through. Like, uh, can can the bonnet be excluded? Like, is the because you know how like women be like, I don't have to show my ass or my titties or stuff like that. Like, they want to be covered, and so mm-hmm. men be like, well, I don't mind using my imagination. That the, the not on no pervert type shit, but right, like I don't right. mind using my. So like, can men? Does that do something for grown men? Like, they want to know like. I wonder does she have is she natural? Does she have long hair? Is she does she have a perm? It's definitely does she have intriguing. Dreads? Does she like is it like a when you unveil the bonnet and you be like, because guys be surprised when I have I guess they think I'm bald, you know, because I wear a lot of weave and stuff or whatever, but it's a protective style. Going hence going back to what Courtney said about culture and stuff for us. It's a a protective style, you know, especially box braids. I'm gonna be honest with you. I lost my whole train of thought. We was talking about protective styles and then the bonnet, like when women do finally take off the bonnet, like oh, oh surprise, yeah. like, oh yeah. my god, you got hair. Oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, it does leave something to the imagination. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it leaves something to the imagination, but I mean it's hair. It's not like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> she's wearing she's wearing a nun's outfit and you see what she's saying? Talk a bonnet, a bonnet, bonnet to a store, to a store run, 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 run. That's what I'm saying, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I say I don't think if you go if you're doing a, a store bitch run, would I'm, show up to an interview. Maybe a Burger King interview or a McDonald's or something, you know. Not even yeah. that. Not even that. But I just my point is and my well, my opinion is like what you have on in that moment in time on the first encounter. I understand first the first impression is everything, but like. You know what I'm saying? If if the dude, I, what I'm trying to wrap my head around is the dude said she was attractive. Mm-hmm. So, how petty are you to let a bonnet turn you off? He said he don't like he don't like one of the, the stereotypes that we're all in already as Black Americans. And he was like, when he see a woman out, and he'd be like, she got on a bonnet. He'd just be like. Why, sister? Like he's one of those like. But the stare, sister, but the, but he, but you said that he said that he's not gonna talk to her. He's not gonna. He's not he's going not gonna to talk. To, he's not gonna pursue her with uh wanting to get to know her relationship wise. But he did want to have a conversation with her to let her know that she's beautiful and to remove the bonnet. Don't come that's out. What I don't know to see. That's stupid. Not, listen, that's dumb. I, if if it was like more of a like, I don't want you wearing the the bonnet like when we go out. I kind of get that. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah. I um I get that because I mean, granted, I'm I'm gonna wear my bonnet inside the house, but like even if you know my man or whatever, like I'm gonna wear it inside the house because my hair I need to protect it. But like when you go out, you're a representation of that person. You know what I mean? Like, yep, exactly. I don't wanna, I'm not trying to go out to the store with you and then like we run into like your your family or your friends or whatever, and they be like, "That's you." Like, <laughs> yeah, I I don't want that. I don't want that. So like, you don't um, want you don't want say that one more time. Like somebody judging you saying. Like they like, yeah like they be like that's you like that's you <laughs> like I don't I don't want that and like I'm a representation of you you know what I mean like that's that's just kind of how I see it. So like Daniel, you and your girl was at Walmart, but she got on the bonnet, and your homeboy was like, "That's you, bro." Like because they be expect, like, "Hey, they, yeah, they expect that's more." Me. They right, expect no, a woman that, with, without a bonnet. Right, and I'm going to be like, heck yeah, that's, that's me. That, and that is my that's baby. And you can go to our Instagram and see where she be fly. Okay? Because right, right now, we just getting chicken and eggs and bread. And you're not going to judge me and my girl. Because nine times out of ten, I got on basketball shorts and some slides. Right. I get that. But at the same <laughs> time, at the same time, for me, how I think, like. I get you. I get you. I'm just thinking That's just that. how I'm thinking of it. Like, I don't want your, even if it's just like we walk to the store, like we go to the store and like, like, it's just you're like, maybe we run into your parents or something. I don't want people to be like. <sighs> like, <laughs> you don't have that though. Like, I, I want you to seek some therapy because you don't have that. Like, like, Courtney don't, doesn't even have an inch of a, a, a drop of fuck it in her like like she doesn't have a and I, it's when the she sensitivity did, she can't control that yeah I don't like think that's when a she did or, or when she did she'd be like it was like i gotta go to the store real quick and like she's like i'll be right back like i'm like who are you hiding from like you're an attractive woman like and they're gonna highlight you regardless <laughs> don't let, i ain't gonna i ain't i ain't i'm not yeah you know. yeah, yeah okay all right so next topic <laughs> next. this is all i'm doing right <laughs> so okay so final thoughts on the bonnet in public Courtney, what's your final thoughts about a man checking a woman for a body? Final thoughts. 
I feel like if you checking it about going in public, like we going like out, like don't wear the bonnet. I understand that. But I mean, as far as like, I mean, granted, that's just me about like running to the store with the bonnet. I don't think it's a really big deal for everybody else. I don't think you should really check your woman for that. I think that's doing a little bit too much. That's just me. I'm not going to the store in a bonnet. I feel like this is different than a bonnet because, you know, it's like, it's like styled. It's like a cultural type of right. feelings or yeah, that's a better way to say like cultural type of feeling to it or whatever. But um, yeah, I don't think you should be checking your woman for like running to the store or something like that or whatever, run to the gas station real fast. Maybe like if y'all going out to, I mean, I, 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 I saw it today when we had got Applebee's to go, uh, there was people in there dining with the bonnet on and stuff like that. I don't, I, if you want to check your oh, girl Easter. There, oh, Easter. Oh, Easter. Oh, Easter girl. <laughs> and um, I, I, I feel it if you like, you know, like, chill out, like we're going out to eat, like pick the bonnet off, like put it, a ponytail, yeah, yeah. Was, I mean, ponytail. Yeah. Slick it back. To even have to Just do that, that should, no, it should be embedded, like, 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 that, like trying to say, earlier. you're an extension of each other, like, I don't, I, your reflection, like, I don't want, you know, I want people to look at me and be like, dang, that's him? Yeah, like, on a good note, you know, yeah, on a good note. On a good, so, yeah. Daniel, what's your final thoughts on the bonnet with the, and I love the fact that you was talking about, um, uh, the uh, reverse, which is the, the the do rag, like I didn't even think about it. I don't even see guys with do rags no more because guys don't either baldy. I don't even see guys with waves no more. I mean, I need to get out, get out. I miss mine. <laughs> I miss my waves. Um, I miss all five of my hairstyles. Anyway, um, like I said, it just depends. It depends on where we're going. Okay. Like I said, if we're if we're like say we live together or we're married or something like that and we need groceries and we need to go big grocery shopping we're going together i'm not expecting you to to you know get dressed and all that and you know what i'm saying put on your hair or do your hair sorry or if you wear a wig put on your hair oh, you know yeah. what i'm saying <laughs> um, I, I, I heard I, <laughs> I, mean, I, I heard that but um you know what i'm saying like I, it just depends on where we're going if we're going to my parents or your parents house like just I would expect you not to wear a bonnet. If we're going right. out, I would expect you not to wear a bonnet. That's it. All right. And so my final thoughts on it is, um, like, once again, reiterating what Daniel said about the do-rag. I didn't really realize about the do-rag situation. Uh, I don't think the do-rag is as... It's not as looked at as the bonnet. Yeah, it's not. It's yeah. not. Um, And then um, but now really I'm thinking, like, with what I want my guy to come out with me in a do-rag. And my thing is, because I still got cousins, I still got cousins, but they're older, like they do the do rag, but they it's it's the, the flat. Flight. Yeah, like <laughs> I prefer the roll that bitch up, yeah. you know, roll it up, tuck it, you know. But no, I I, I guess I don't want him to wear the do rag because I want the, you know, the Hey, Kashana said Jesus didn't rise on Easter Sunday to see people eating bonnets. I'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> the disrespect. That's why I was like on Easter. But um, <laughs> but yeah, my my perspective on it, um, I don't, I don't, I prefer us not to wear the bonnets, um, permanently. Like if it's just a run to the store real quick, then okay, that's fine. But if it's like you got bills you got to pay, you 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 you're dressed and you no, like no, just put it in a ponytail. But then I'd rather you just put on the uh, the dad hat, put your hair in a ponytail, do the dad hat. And then just go on about your day, you know. Yeah, or that. just instead of having a bonnet, wear the scarf. The wear the scarf. I'm I'm a you good scarf girl. Like I, I'm I'm a good ponytail puffball and a scarf tied a knot. I'm good. Mentally. I think that's so attractive. I love, I love the baby scarf. Hair. Especially like with your sunglasses and a hat. Mm -hmm. Don't good lip gloss, a good lip gloss, and good yes, ring. Lord. You know you good. All right, so let's go to the third topic, which is black men wearing hoodies inside establishments. So, you talking about the talking, actual hood, yeah, or just hoodies? Okay, hoods. Um, because when he was talking about that, and we was talking about the stereotypes of the bonnet, I said, "You want you want to walk up to a, a black woman and be like, baby girl, don't do that. You're a queen. You know how they look at you.'" And my reply to that, it wasn't the the do rag Daniel, but that was a great one once again. My reply to what he said was, I said, "Well, are you walking up to brothers and saying?" My brother, take that um, take the hoodie off. Take, take when you're going into like grocery store, like, um, gas stations and stuff because you know, hence the Trayvon Martin situation. And then 
a lot of black boys, especially now with the mask and stuff on, like, I, we was, where was we at? We, we was, um, damn, what restaurant we was at? Oh my God, I, I forgot what restaurant we was at this weekend. But, um, oh, Shake Shack. We was Shake Shack in Charlotte. And uh, it was a guy, he had on a fitted hat. And he was wrapped all the way up. All you saw was this right here. I said, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Let's get this to go. Like, I was scared. Like, and I was like, fuck. I'm like, I'm acting like a Caucasian person. Like, I was scared. I was, I was like, I don't look comfortable. Like, this doesn't look right to me, you know? It's a stereotype. But, but they exist. And I'm not going to, like, be ashamed of it because right. why now when I share news articles about stuff, I was like, y'all, let's stop being a stereotype. But so I asked him, I said, if you're going to walk up to a black woman and talk about she's better than the bonnet, do you walk up to a, a brother, a black man and say, take off the hoodie? Because you know how these people in these stores feel about that. You know, it gives them the anxiety of, oh my God, I'm about to get robbed. And I know people are going to be like, Ashley, how in the hell can a, a black man putting on a hoodie make you feel like you're about to get robbed? Uh, the same way when Caucasian people see a, a black person walking towards them, they either they cross, cross the, the street, street. They grip their purse a little bit tighter or they lock the damn door. And I do all that for everybody. Not just black people, but I think I'm a Caucasian woman a little bit. <laughs> I'm just scared of everything. But I just The world is crazy. The world is crazy. But so how do you feel about the black man in the hoodie? Like when he's about to walk into a gas station, do you think he should take the shit off just so he can be like, hey, I, I ain't here to rob nobody. I'm just here to get my blunt my cigars i i personally hate the idea of having to change what you want to wear to make someone else feel comfortable. feel comfortable i i really do not like the idea whatsoever i i understand you don't like it but if I, it can, I, if I it can bring you home i understand there's a reality behind it i understand all that but at the same time it just it's <laughs> It's, I don't like it. It's the same way how people are like girls should dress a certain way because of you know what could happen, and it's like she's like a serial killer. It's it's like just because I dress a certain way does not give you the right to touch me. Like that's not a absolutely just a thing. And so I feel the same way about the hoodie. It's like I don't know. Maybe it's a matter of like knowing about where you're going, and I understand that the reality about it. I just don't like the idea of having to having to do all that just just to make someone else comfortable because white guys wear hoodies hispanic guys wear hoodies everybody wears a hoodie girls still i don't think that's even a race thing though my opinion but keep continue it's just i i just uh, well if we're talking about black men yeah but we're talking about black men i, and I, I, under, I, I understand Daniel's what saying, but i we're understand we're talking about black yeah, men but it's, i don't it's, we're 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 looked at more like when you go on this right and it's it's, it's it's you know it's just sucky because everybody wears hoodies like you can mm -hmm. get a hoodie from like every fucking store mm -hmm. i've been drinking too much but you can get a hoodie from every i was gonna ask was what, what kind of drink that was i have been on it. tequila i think i have tequila on easter sunday my lord <laughs> i'm playing <laughs> It's a celebration. No. It's a celebration. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just don't like the idea of it. Um, I I I, I, don't, I don't think I would be one of the people like, now nah, don't wear that hoodie. Like I don't, I just don't see me saying that. I I, I am. I, maybe I am. maybe maybe if we're going to like a certain restaurant or something like that, like maybe like, but that's more more. That's so just etiquette. Right, like you gotta yeah. just dress for where you're going. That's how I'm thinking of it. I don't think I would go a certain place and be like, nah, stop wearing that hoodie. Maybe if it was like a freaking place where like people was getting stopped that I was aware mm -hmm. of, like something like that, you know. Yeah, I've, I've I'll give you to, an um. I've had to do the uh, ask like people, I like, can you take your hoodie off real quick? Like, if you're going to the store, take your hoodie off. Like, I, I've said that. And I've experienced like, that, and I've experienced the the being looked at crazy, and and so. <laughs> I went to a PWI for people right. that don't know what PWI is. It's a white, white institute. institution. Right. Um, I played football up there for a year and um, I had my hoodie on. It was, I remember this like it was yesterday. It was 1150. The store closed at 12. 
and um, I, it was cold. This was in the mountains of North Carolina in the fall. So it was every bit of 30 degrees. So yeah, I had a do-rag on. I had, you know, my hoodie over my head because it was freaking cold. I walked in to the place and the cop saw me walk in. He was driving. He slowed down, saw me walk in, was almost past the gas station did a, a you know a legal cop u-turn and came and stood in the gas station until i left and literally you talking about other people feeling uncomfortable i felt uncomfortable and i'm not talking he didn't even make it seem like he was coming to buy anything he didn't even make it seem like he was coming to talk to the uh the cashier he literally walked in the door and followed me around every aisle in that store Okay. So my point is just because I was I I felt a way about my well-being, I tell people, take your hoodie off before you go in the store. Granted, the place that I lived was predominantly white, but at the end of the day, like that happens everywhere. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I hate that stereotype too, Courtney. Like I can't stand it. If I want to wear a hoodie and I want my head covered. I want to I want to do that without being looked at weird. But nowadays, there's some stores like in Florence. I think the Circle K in Florence, they said they will not serve you unless you take your hoodie off. Yeah, they will not serve you. It says it at the door. If, if you remove all hoodies from the door, it don't matter if you're white, black, blue, green, or orange. So, you know, what I'm saying he definitely did, Kashanda. He definitely racially profiled me. Because I'm I'm a five foot eleven, three hundred and twenty pound dude at the time. You know what I'm saying? But I was still like, that was a lesson learned for me. And people would tell me all the time, take your hoodie off around here, bro. Take your hoodie off. I'm like, man, from around here, man. I don't care. And that's the reason, because you're not from around here. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I say as long as much as I hate that stereotype, for our well-being at this moment in time, with everything that's going on and has went on. Some things you just got to do just to stay alive. And I hate to say it like that. But some things you just, you got to do so you can make it home. You know what I'm saying? We discussed that on the episode about, um, matter of fact, Whitney was up here. Um, hey, Whitney, if you're watching, um, well, when you go back and watch and listen. Uh, we was talking about um, Black men making it home. You know, like, because I was saying like there, uh, it was the topic was uh, Black men and their fuck the police mentality. Like, I know my rights, bro. Then they're like, okay, me and my mom had a conversation about home. that the other day. We'll deal. We'll deal with. Like I said, uh, like I Deedly. said on that episode, Deedly. I was like, Deedly. I'd rather stand beside you at a news press conference and we yep. talk about the harassment mm-hmm. versus me on this news conference by myself crying and I got to plan a funeral. Yep. All because you know your rights, bro. Like, there's just some things. There's just some things that we have to come to the realization, no matter how messed up it is, that we just can't do right now. I'm not saying we'll we'll never be able to do it. But there's just some things that we just can't do. And, 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 and we come I hate a to long say that. way. I, we we yeah. come a long way. And I know we still got a ways to go. We will never be equal. So get that through your head. We'll never be equal. You know, um, men and women aren't equal, you know. But um, when it comes to that race thing, it's just, it's a lot. You know, it's very stressful. But compared to the way we are right now, compared to our grandparents and their great we it is not worth, uh, it's not worth, um, all the 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 extras so right. yeah make it home definitely i agree um but my my thoughts on the um the hoodie thing just just take it off just take it off just take it off um to save to save yourself to save the trouble all right so um we're gonna do the last one more topic and then we can roll over the fifth topic to the next episode but um the fourth one are black women are broken women good for business? And the reason why, and I don't even want to say black, but it was a black guy that kind of gave me this uh, topic. But um, going back with the Derek Jackson situation, you know, like his his following were women that like unhappy women, like women that are you know in these unhappy relationships and stuff. And so they were buying his books, buying his cars, going to the seminars, you know, because they were like, I am, I'm not happy with my spouse. I'm not happy with my husband. I want a good man, you know, unhappy women. So do y'all think, and I think we, 
me and Courtney, us being women, and then Daniel, you know, you're attracted to women and you went through your situations. Are broken women good for business? Good business people. Like, you know, you got the supply and the demand. So the demand is women want a good man, a good brother. So when they saw him, like, hey, is your man cheating on you? <laughs> Buy this book <laughs> to learn all the signs of if he's cheating on you. So you won't waste your time. They were like, oh, yeah. So are broken women good for business? You can go ahead, Courtney. Go before me. I'm debating. <laughs> um, that's why I asked you to go because I was kind of debating too. Anyway, um, <laughs> so since she put me on the spot, um, definitely, it's definitely marketable. Mm. It's definitely and 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 not even just for the benefit of uh, the men that are like Derrick Jackson or is that name Derrick Jackson? The, yeah. They do. It's not even just that. It's it's marketable for the actual woman who is actually broken. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, this is what I mean. This is not the same thing, but it's in the same context. If you have, you know how you watch uh, American Idol or The Voice, and every single person has some type of sob story. A sad story, yep. Every single one of them. Well, you know, my dad died 30 years ago and I just been struggling with that. I stopped music altogether, but you know, he came to me in a dream and that's why I'm making music. You know, pause, you know what I'm saying? Pause like, real quick, pause real quick. Uh, I don't know people that watch me and stuff like I, uh, several years ago, I went to go try out for the, uh, the Biggest Loser TV show. And I'm not gonna lie, Daniel, when it came to me and if they was like, oh, we want you, but I was gonna pull out a sad story. I you even bought to. my mama. I bought my mama obituary, like, <laughs> but it was real though. Like I wasn't just to. like, yeah, like, but it was like a real. So everybody's sad story is real. That's why I'd be like, people, everybody got a story. Everybody got yeah. a story. But you can go ahead. And what? And that's what I said. It's not exactly the same thing, but right. it's still a marketable tactic to pull at the heartstrings of millions of people that's watching. So. Yes, to be broken is amazing for business. You know what I'm saying? There's a girl on TikTok that makes poems and a lot of her poems be about heartbreak. And she has like almost a million followers. Wow. Now, granted, now the poems are great. You know what I'm saying? Like she has a talent, but most of her work is sad stuff. So to be broken is definitely is definitely a marketable tool for both sides. For the man that's like, hey, did that nigga break your heart? <laughs> Let's help you out. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then it's For also 49.99 plus you can that. get this book and then you can call me whenever. You know, it's the same thing. And then you got that woman that's like, women, I've been broken, and I'm sure there's other women that have been broken the same way by these no good men. So I want right. to be a help to every woman so she don't have to be in my situation. And you don't have to be me. Yeah, you like, don't have to be me. <laughs> that's literally what happens. Literally what happens the whole time. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a ta- it's a tactic, and they get money. So yes, that was long winded. I'm sorry, but absolutely yes. I feel like okay. It's Shonda said me. broken women target areas for financial gain. You, that's money. Facts. It's money there. There's money it's, to be made. It's relatable. Yeah. Right. Everyone has felt like. Granted, we've talked about this before. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think like if, if back in a second I right? don't think that I'm broken right okay but everyone has felt broken mm-hmm. at one time or they go through something and they you know they feel like it's something a similar experience or something like that it's relatable it's something relatable that everyone can relate to right. um and so that is marketable because you know there's a group of people who feel that way Especially with the the you know, you know the men ain't shit women the you know like all all men are cheaters women the the you know it's just it's it's a relatable thing so it's always going to be marketable because everyone has felt that even if they don't feel like they are necessarily broken like me like I wouldn't say I'm broken do I need therapy probably we are but <laughs> did you hear that. What what did they say? Who the hell yeah? <laughs> I like them. <laughs> I like them. 
but like do i need therapy Pro- yes but i wouldn't consider myself broken have i felt broken absolutely i think everyone is a relatable thing so it's always going to be marketable if you can relate to people it's always going to be marketable there's always going to be a market of people who feel broken 100%. you're right I, I i i like the way you said that courtney because um, when you said it it started making me think like um everybody go through something everybody feels broken at some point in time in their life just like everybody feels like they need to lose weight at some point in their life like they feel fat or they feel unhappy so the same way i think you make millions and trillions of dollars off of weight loss um uh regimens and stuff it's just like wanting to be happy i think women who are broken or who are damaged we we used that word before in the episode about being damaged um you want to find happiness just like you want to lose weight to find some happiness you know feel better and look look better um i don't know i think you gotta it, it starts within instead of versus buying a book you know that because you're not just gonna it might give you some tools to work with but i'd rather deal with like a human being instead of spending it on a book Derek Jackson or whomever are going to these seminars, do some one-on-one, some one-on-one uh, soul Actually searching. get some therapy. Yeah, get some therapy. Mm-hmm. And instead of buying some cards, like Shonda said something about his cards, um, it was like, I, I know what you're talking about. Um, If that's the case, then I, because I've been talking to a lot of guys, giving a lot of questions and a lot of insights, which a lot of these questions, we're on episode 15 with um, uh, I've Noticed Podcast, and I think we did about five to six episodes of successfully single and we do uh four to five questions per episode and we have questions within the questions that we have. so i could literally do a card game my damn self just by conversing with guys or a board game rather but um yeah i just think that women need to find it within themselves take that uh contact your insurance i think you get like five free sessions um with your insurance and then after that maybe get a discount but you ain't gonna find it by watching something online and by ordering something off TV. You need to some one on one time with a therapist. Um, so don't spend all your money. That's how I am about the lottery. Like I know I would never win the lottery. Why? Because I don't play. I'm not committed. <laughs> I hate wasting money. You know, um, I'd rather buy a pack of chicken, fry it, and make some money off of it versus uh, buying ten lottery tickets, scratching off, and then disappointed because i didn't get anything at least the chicken was fried and it tasted good <laughs> you know well, with the lottery i just and people are like, well you're, you're putting towards people college fun well i don't know about frying chicken because i can't cook but i'll never win nothing so you'll never catch me trying to play the lottery <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm like i never like i like somebody was just, i just saw a news article about a woman was visiting her family in lamar south carolina and won thirty thousand dollars off a of scratch off i said it would never be me ever because I don't waste well, my money. Well, with that attitude, no, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't waste my money. Like, I hate that. Like, I'm just like, this is, okay. I spent, I bought a book, a whole book, Daniel and Courtney. I bought a whole book for $300. I said, I got to win something on this road. It's a fresh road. Nobody has picked off this. I won $180. So you and said I in spent three hundred. Yeah. And you know what people told me? They was like, "Oh, the, my lottery people that who are committed to it." They was like, "You did it wrong." I said, "What you mean?" They was like, "You got to go to a small town, to a small store." I just went to Food Lion <laughs> in Columbia. They was like, "You did it wrong. You got to go to a, a little mom and pop store." I'm like, "Now it is a, it is a, a statistic that yeah. a lot of people win more money, especially when it comes to scratch offs. They they say that they fund." the smaller places. That's the reason why you go to these small little no-name stores and they got all of those winners up there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I get it. I understand, but it's still, I, I played one time and won $10 and took that same $10 and went in to try to get something else and lost the $10. I said, I ain't doing it. It's, no addictive. it's addictive. <laughs> it's addictive. I ain't doing this no more. Well, all right. So we all agree that uh, broken women are good for business. Um, but we also agreed um, don't find it within a board game, a card game, or somebody that's talking to you on the internet. You go talk to somebody that's professionally can help you out professionally. So with that being said, um, thank you guys for this episode. We will see you next Sunday. Um, if anybody would like to be a guest on the show, you got to pay. My cash app is dollar sign. <laughs> 
going to do the last one real quick? Okay, well, okay. All right, so the, well, the last one. Um, which accessories on a person is a deal breaker for you? Accessories? And, and what I mean by, because I didn't know the correct way to say it, but the accessories would be like piercings, tattoos, tongue rings, cock ring. Like what, what's something on a person that you'd be like, oh, I, I can't. You didn't and know I'll, go, I'll go first. Daniel don't know what a cock ring is. Yes, I, I do like, know what a cock ring is. Like, I, why would you wear that out? That's what I want. That's what I want. Like, why? Daniel why would watch you? porn just like everybody else. He know what a cock ring is. All right. So, my thing is, I don't like nipple rings. I don't like nipple rings. I don't. I, I recently discovered I don't like men having tongue rings. Uh, I don't like guys that use anal plugs. I don't like none of that shit. I ain't with it. Deal breaker. I don't have a problem with none of that. Same. Well, on a woman, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I don't. Okay. Maybe I love piercings, but too many piercings are too much. Like the girl that did my nose ring, obviously she works at the piercing place. But I'm talking about she had like, you know, what I'm saying like. All of this, and then she had, she even had dimple piercings, and I was like, "You so pretty," but that's just too much. Yeah, like I, I, I seen girls with the nose that, like, oh, matter of fact, I just saw somebody with hoops in their nose, a bar through the nose, a piercing right here, and then they had no, 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 it was a hoop, no, it was a stud, a hoop, and then the hoop went here, you know, the little yeah, thing like to that, the ear, to the, the ear, thing here, you know, a yeah. piercing here. And then they had the chest pad, chest pad across their chest. Oh, I don't, I don't. That's a turn on for me. Tattoos. I don't care if that female is yatted from head to toe, as long as it ain't on her face. I love me or a tatted woman, and that's ironic because I have absolutely zero tattoos pending the next couple months. I'm finna be yatted. Me anyway, because you know it's about to be a hot boy summer. I gotta make sure. I who told you that, <laughs> sweetie, out here. <laughs> Sweetie is out here. It's an icy girl. <laughs> <laughs> but nah. Saw her I, post, she said new hair, new number. <laughs> I saw it. I ain't paying Sweetie no attention. I um I don't have a problem with that. I didn't seen people with like a whole bunch of piercings, but it worked for them. I didn't seen okay. it where it's a whole bunch of piercings it doesn't. I think it all just depends on what kind of look that you have. Um, to me, none of those things bother me. Maybe the gauges, but that's because I oh heard- the holes. Yeah, oh, like because yeah. I've heard that, but the only reason I wouldn't that would be a deal breaker because I know that they can stink. Like I've heard that they can like stink. Smell like, really bad. Really bad. Yeah. But I don't like I don't mind gauges, but they can't be too big. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I can't see me dating someone like as big as my hoops. Like <laughs> I saw a girl on TikTok that literally has gauges the size of your earrings. No yeah. exaggeration. And I looked at it, and I was looking. And I'm like. Nah, so I looked at the video again, and it was literally her. I thought it was just an earring, but it was literally a gauge. And I just, I just can't. I don't mind gauges. That's like maybe like that. I don't know if y'all can see it. So, so what? Like a like a dime, nickel, quarter? How big? I'm a cool quarter? with a. I'm cool with a quarter. Yeah. That's probably the biggest. That's probably the biggest because I think you could you can still reverse that if you wanted to. A quarter. You. It's hard to reverse. I just. A, um... I just um yeah I but everything else that you mentioned like cock ring nose ring um and that's either here or here that just sounds Tongue painful ring. cock ring bro you know I don't think that would bother me I don't see it bother me because I don't I've seen that stuff well not the cock ring except there was a guy when I was going to school in Florida there was a guy who had a cock ring and he was like showing like everybody I never mm-hmm. saw it but he was like showing it back. But like I've never seen a cock ring in person, but <laughs> maybe like on porn or something. But right. But um, everything else, like I didn't see it work for people. Like even these things. The dimple yeah. rings. Yeah, like the girl girls who um who have dimples. Like I think it works for them. Like yeah. But a no, lot of girls get it to the create dimples the dimples. Too. I told you you can turn it up. I'm always cold. I told you that. But yeah. Damn. 
Oh, hell no. I gotta get off that Facebook date and shit. Hell no. All right. Oh, somebody um, saw something they like. I see you now. You better do it. Oh shit. Anyway. Um <laughs> but uh yeah, I, I I don't know. I just think certain things like I don't I don't know. I, I, I need therapy. <laughs> because like this guy, he had like nipple rings, and I was like, You got nipple rings? I was like, I only see like male ex- like my theories be right i said only male strippers have n- nipple rings and he was like oh i used to be a stripper i'm like fucking well it. makes sense I knew not it. only male strippers have nipple rings well to me my theory my theory and it was correct right. he proved my point right you know i was like i knew it and i was like and then that that, that went down a whole nother hole i was like so when did you become a stripper like were you struggling because like you know some women be like oh i need to pay for college i need to do this and i was like so what was your reason in becoming a stripper and he was just oh, yeah but i also think male strippers are bisexual you know but we gonna have a male stripper on the show as a guest <laughs> if he pick up the phone or whatever but um but yeah i just for me i don't like i'm not playing jane but i don't like um extra stuff like I, in, some, in some in some situations less is more anyway yeah i just don't like the i think it depends like, on your look like me personally i don't think i could do a lot of piercings i think that would mess my whole thing up i think this would be it for me as far as on my face i think this is all i could really do i thought about putting a stud next to it you know what i'm saying and if that if i do that that would be the the most i would go you know what i'm saying i would do i don't have no tattoos no piercings like I, I really want an extra thing in my ear but i'm so nervous but then again i did get my eyebrows tattooed on so i might could go through the pain you know um, but uh, uh i do want a nose ring after i lose more weight i think you'd be cute with a nose ring now you'd be cute with a nose ring now i want i've always wanted a nose ring i think eventually i'm gonna do it but i might do it this year Y'all should. I yeah, I, I would do it this year because I've been doing a lot of stuff that I wouldn't normally do. But I want a nose ring, and then I want a second piercing thing because I I, I want to do the the up the top and then the the chain going down. But but anyway, so all right. But everybody who's listening to this, thank you for tuning in. I uh, will be back next Sunday. Um, and then you can always go back and listen to this if you logged in late. You can listen to this on Amazon Prime, Pandora, iHeartRadio and spotify and then you can actually watch us and listen to us if you're at work working out whatever on youtube but everybody have a superior good night (laughs) bye you guys bye okay in meeting